Welcome back to my channel. Miss Peggy here, all the way from North Texas. Uh, I want to welcome all the new people that are here, and I want to welcome all the continued watchers. I know a lot of you are continued watchers. So, um, today is December the 28th. Today um, was the last Tuesday penny shopping day of the year. So we might get a new penny list Saturday. That's going to be New Year's Day. And so this is it. Today was the day. And um, we had about, oh, I don't know, two, four, six, about six, seven items on the penny list for today. Um, it was the, the Rexall Naturalist CO. Q10 200 milligrams 90 count I found some of those I found some in the clearance aisle but the count was wrong uh, the count was not 90 count I found some of those in the um, aisle where they keep the vitamins and stuff and they also were not the correct ones so I found that type of pill vitamin the COQ10 naturalist um, but they weren't the penny ones I never saw any of the Allure, Allure Life sleep capsules I was kind of hoping that I'd find some of those because sometimes I do have a hard time sleeping but I did not find any of those in, at any of the stores I went to and you know me I, I go to more than six and then the Flintstone vitamins the immune um, multivitamins they're gummies the 60 count I found two different kinds of those uh, I thought one of them was the exact one but uh, the barcode was not correct so they've got the Flintstones out there two different kinds of the gummies but neither one of them at my stores were the correct one then the Mexico Lindo hot sauce you got the habanero red and you got the habanero green I don't think they carry those at all in my area. I've never seen them. I haven't seen them today at all. Um, I, I never have seen them. Mostly my Dollar Generals carry the Crystal hot sauce and um, I've never seen these. But I looked and I looked and I looked but I didn't see any. Then they got the Armorall, the pump disinfectants. Then they got the disinfectant wipes. These are both disinfectants. If it doesn't say disinfectant on the bottle or the spray, it's not the right one. But I saw a few of these week before last, whenever they were uh, not 30 cents. I think when they were like 50% off. I was going to wait until they were like the 30 cent ones and I was going to pick up a couple. But I haven't seen any of them. I looked in the regular where they keep the car stuff and I looked at the end caps uh, where I remembered seeing them. Nothing, 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 nothing. So then we got hol uh, the holiday uh, air care and the paper products and gift sets and the. Um, the candy was 25% off so <clears throat> like I said every week I write down the penny list and you can see I write down the barcodes and I take it with me because it's easier for me because like I said I've got a Q-Link phone and that is a government phone and um, the battery just goes like crazy that's why I can't record in the store because my phone just won't allow me because my battery is just eat up. And then I can't I can't recharge my phone in between the stores to keep it up. So that's why Miss Peggy don't record in the stores because my phone won't let me. But one of these days, I'm going to get me an iPhone. <laughs> uh, iPhone, uh, what is it called? Uh, iPhone, yeah. One of those fancy gadget phones, but right now I just have a government phone and they only allow me one app. 
and um, make your choice which one you want it to be. Actually, they gave me two, and I used the Google Photo one, and then I used the Dollar General one, and that's it. So I can't, I don't have a movie app, so I can make uh, videos, so I can edit them um, on my phone. I can't get the videos out of my phone fast enough to be able to circle them around the Google Photos and back into my tablet. So it's a complicated deal. Miss Peggy lives in poverty over here. <laughs> so we make do. But anyway, I got some beautiful cards. Four more. I love y'all for sending them. I just love getting these cards. So I want to share those with y'all and open them. And uh, Cheryl, my friend Cheryl, wanted to see the back of the door this year where I hang all the Christmas cards. So I'm going to make a thumbnail at the end of this video for this video. And it will be a picture of my card wall so that y'all can see it. Now this card is from Miss Diana Tucson in Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester, Massachusetts. Wow, that's up there by Boston. <coughs> Peggy's Corner. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If I can get it out of here. It's stuck. There it goes. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Believe. I do believe. I'll tell you, believe. Uh, my mom and dad believed that if you didn't believe in Santa, Santa didn't come. So we all believed until we were almost, well, I still believe. <laughs> he don't always come anymore, but I still believe. I was just raised that way. But anyway, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Wishing you and Robert a very best of health. I pray that he will heal completely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's your thumbnail. <laughs> I always give you one every video. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. I love that. Thank you, Diane. From Boston. Man, I bet it's cold up there in Boston. Okay, now this one is from Tina. And Miss Tina lives in Brownwood, Texas. I know where that's at. That's out there by Abilene. Yep. My friend, um, my best friend, I don't always get to see her a lot, but she lives in uh, Winters, Texas, out by Ballinger. And you have to kind of almost go to Abilene, take a left. So it's out there close. But okay, Miss Tina. And look, she put a little happy face on the back. Isn't that cute? Oh, joyful. Ooh, look. Right there. <laughs> I see something sticking out. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Two more dollars for penny shopping. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. My goodness. So that is... Miss Tina from Brownwood sent Miss Peggy some penny shopping money. Isn't that sweet? Thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas, a loyal subscriber. Thank you, Tina. Thank you so much. And then this one is from Miss Sandra Hamill in Valdosta, Georgia. Valdosta, Georgia. I hope I'm saying that right. Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, Robert's sister lives in Georgia. And um, her name is Terry with the Y. <laughs> she always says that. I don't know. She worries about it. I guess it's not a Terry with the I E. But she always says her name is Terry with the Y. <laughs> so my name is Peggy with the Y. But anyway. This reminds you of family when they're from the same place y'all are from. So, um, Tallahassee, 
Tallahassee, Florida. So Vandosta, Georgia has to be close to the border of Florida. It says to Miss Peggy and Mr. Robert. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my, look at this, what fell out. Now that's amazing. That is, that is too cool. Look at that. Make a heart out of a dollar. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness, Sandra. Sandra, did you make that or somebody you know made that? If you made that, you're a very talented girl. Look at that. I'm keeping that. That's going up there on my um, forever wall of my penny stuff and my family. Oh my goodness, I love that. That is so sweet. God is with you in all thoughts you do. Oh, Genesis 21, 22. Has a little calendar for next year. Put that in my wallet, and then I'll never, ever miss the penny shopping day. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Sandra. That is so sweet. Look at that. My, my, my. Say, so wishing you a blessed 2022. Love your halls. In, in, oh, included a little something for you. On your shopping trips much love sandy well you know what sandy it is a little something but i tell you what i'm not unfolding this <laughs> you're gonna have to do a lot of talking to get me to unfold this so this is definitely going into a souvenir box i might even wear it look at that that is so cool my goodness cozy christmas wishes look at that card isn't that pretty Oh, man. That is so sweet. So sweet. Tanya Williams, St. Clair Street, Stark, Florida. Stark, Florida. Well, that's got to be by Jacksonville, Florida. And you know, I used to watch a guy that did a YouTube channel, and he was out of Duval County, and I'm pretty sure Jacksonville is in Duval County. Um... But he doesn't make videos anymore, and I miss him. So I, I know how you feel about you get to be family with people on these YouTube channels because I miss him a lot. Actually, I've got two people that used to make videos that don't make them anymore, and I miss them a lot. It's just like brothers and sisters that you don't know if they're all right. You don't know what they're doing. Um, you get used to knowing. So this is from... Tanya Williams. Like I said, Jacksonville, Florida. Isn't that pretty? That's raised. You can feel it's raised. Isn't that pretty? Season's greetings. Season's greetings. Wishing you a season of warm moments and a happy new year. Hugs and kisses, Tanya. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you so much. Man, so I'm going to put these on the door before I take that thumbnail so that all the cards will be in that thumbnail. Now, I got a package from a dear friend of mine that came in the mail this morning. I think it was this morning. Um, and... Uh, it's boondocking with Dennis. And Dennis and I have been friends for almost four years. Uh, we both had kind of started our YouTube channel about the same time. So we were both new. And uh, we both just become friends. And uh, right off the bat, um, Dennis sent me a Michaels gift card for $25. Just out of nothing. I mean, and I was just a new uh, person on YouTube. And um, we've been friends ever since. I've sent him stuff. He sends me stuff. I send him stuff. He sends me stuff. And we watch each other's videos. Um, if, if you um, 
watch my comments you'll see boondocking with dennis he's down there he comments a lot so if y'all see boondocking with dennis y'all give him a shout out and y'all go over there on his channel and um he lives down in uh, rockport texas which is down by corpus christi and he um is friends with the dolphins and um, he shows us pictures of the dolphins he shows us the ocean I love the ocean um, you know when you're just sitting by the sea it's just so tranquil the wind is always blowing um, you know I just get my ocean fix through Dennis <laughs> thank you Dennis for that but anyway I want to open this package and uh, see what's in here um, whatever it is, it's sticking out right there. So I'm anxious to see what this is. It's metal. Whatever it is, I can hear it in there. But, um, Dennis sent me a personal message the other day and told me that he sent me a package. But there's nothing inside that tells me, or on the outside, that tells me it's from him. So when I got this package, I just assumed automatically that it's from Dennis because I'm not expecting any packages from anybody else. So let's see what's in here. like a coffee pot <laughs> let's see I gotta turn it around oh my goodness look at that it is a birdhouse isn't that pretty oh man I love that that is so pretty and it has a hook on the back where you can hang it and it has a little door on the back for you to clean out the bird nest. Isn't that cool? I guess Dennis must have heard me say I collect bird houses. I sure do. Get that little latch. Look at that little latch up there. Isn't that pretty? Man, thank you, Dennis. And yes, this is absolutely going on my back porch where I hang all my bird houses. And that is a nice bird house. That's going to last a long time. I love that. Thank you so much, Dennis. Now, I went to the Dollar General this morning, penny shopping, and I found this. This thing is a purple dot, and I'll tell you where I found this. This was in the clearance aisle, you know, where the clearance aisle has the shelf, and then at the end of the shelf is the end cap. Well, this was stuck in the end cap on the bottom shelf in the clearance aisle. And I was sitting on the floor. No, I wasn't. I was standing up looking at the stuff on the top shelf. And when I did, I was moving stuff around. And there was a Christmas tablecloth on the top shelf. And it fell over down that hole. And it went all the way down to the first shelf so I sat down on the floor to retrieve the tablecloth to put it back on the shelf where I found it and when I did this was stuck in there and it was stuck in there like this up against the wall and it was wedged in there I mean it was wedged and so when I took the tablecloth out I go well there's something else in there and I had to kind of pull on it to get it to come out but it's a wall flag a purple dot and let me show you what the funniest part of it is look at it summer of 18 s18 now this purple dot true living it is a, just a flag, some kind of a flag, but 
it's been there for four years and I believe it's probably been there since right before I started penny shopping or at the same time I started penny shopping because I pretty much been penny shopping almost four years so I don't really have any 2018 things that I really remember but I do have a lot of 2019 stuff so this right here is an old penny that has been hung up in the end cap where stuff can get stuck and I find pennies there all the time so this this is it right here and it most definitely was a penny and it did not reset so things that penny at the Dollar General that they don't restock usually the year indicates that they won't restock it and it usually doesn't reset so we've got a few things going on about resets right now that we're trying to figure out if it's a new thing or it's not a new thing but now this door look at this <laughs> this was just laying on the shelf by the Christmas stuff just laying there just laying there out in the open all by itself now everything in this bag was a penny and it looks like that I didn't lose the receipt I was gonna say it looks like I, I lost a receipt but anyway um, there's one thing in here that I failed to scan and it was a dollar and I scanned it I'd scanned it a while back and I knew it wasn't a dollar. This right here. This is a harvest. Has a pumpkin on it. <clears throat> it's fall of 21. But this did not penny. Now, scan that or write that barcode down. Put it in your phone and let me know if it pennied in your area because it did not in my area 908 right there it's a dollar and I should have scanned it but I didn't I went on assumption that everything with the pumpkin will be a penny don't assume because assume will make a butt out of you <laughs> don't ever assume but anyway I'll show you what else I got now I got this little spatula right here and I'll tell you why I got this spatula because when they penny I don't think I'm gonna be able to find one but I have a red one like this that I got a couple of years ago now Robert and I use this little spatula spoon all the time it's small it 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 just works so if you see any of these little spatulas they're part of Christmas there are 50 cents right now. I paid 50 cents for this today. And, um, yeah. You know, it's worth it. If it's 50 cents and, and it's something that you want, go ahead and buy it. Because when it pennies, it's probably not going to be there. So, now, look what else I found. I found this. Yellow Dot Accessories. Now, Yellow Dot Accessories summer of 21 has already pennied the yellow dot clothes have not but the accessories have now i found a whole box of these and this was hanging in the clearance rack on a peg hook and when i saw it i was like well that's orange um i know i've already got those and they pennied so i scanned it and it it's still a penny so I got that. That's a $5 necklace right there. And I've got a whole box of them already. So they're going to go good in my yard sale. Now this was in the clearance rack too. Orange diamond. And it also has the pumpkin on it. But these uh, scented, what do they call it? Scented sachets. They usually 
are excluded when the purple dot pennies and and um, stuff like that with the home but for some reason these perfect harvest orange diamond is following fall and it is a penny I found this one and it smells like harvest you can smell the the clothes it just smells good so I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these but they do smell good so I was really excited I got one of these and it was hanging in the clearance aisle so somebody just put it there now I got two of these is that upside down yes and I'll tell you and they're matching and I don't know but I think maybe somebody put them there um, these were with the doormats actually they were on the bottom shelf of the doormats underneath like four doormats but part of them was sticking out on the end and I could see them so I sat down on the floor and dug them out and they were all crumpled up in there you know like I don't know I think somebody stashed on there is what I think because the Dollar General employees are not going to put these with the floor mats I do know that but anyway these are also orange diamond and they have the pumpkin on them and they were a penny so and I do have a couple of these from last year or the year before last and I didn't put them out on my table this year but I should have but I was real thankful about these because these are cloth uh, placemats now these were in the clearance aisle and these are those little I don't know they're like a headband a neckband a scarf uh, a a four-in-one three dollar orange clover orange clover that pennied and this was in the clearance aisle and it just goes on this cardboard like that now this one was in the clearance aisle but it did not have a box so I took this one and this one to the register and I told him this one don't have a box but it's just like this one so he just scanned this one twice for these so um, yeah these are good these are you know for long hair like mine this is good I can keep my hair on my face so these are nice to have now this was up with the accessories up by the clothes and it is a yellow dot and it's a summer of 21 and the yellow dot accessories have pennied summer of 21 and this is just a little diary stationary set just now, and these, I've had several of these. Now, these were on the toy aisle on the top shelf, but I could see them from the aisle next to it. I was on the across aisle, and I could see these. These were just laying up there on the top shelf, and I could see them from the next aisle over. So, I reached down, and they had these, um, they're like, Christmas um, straw brooms that are scented and they're about yay long <laughs> well I got one of those and I swooped it and I swooped it and I swooped it until it come over on my aisle with me and it was a pink square and I think I've already got at least three of these and the pink squares are still out there so you just got to keep your eye out for it because summer pink toys are out there and they have not got new ones yet. 
Now this little thing was on the side of an end cap. And when I say the side of an end cap, it's an end cap on the side of an end cap that they hang the shoelaces and the um, boot odor balls that you can stick in your shoes to eliminate the odor that that where the i think of shoe polish and stuff like this this was laying on that shelf just caught my eye and i don't know it's a door pillow you just hang it on the doorknob but it also is an orange diamond right there and it has the pumpkin on it so i got a good little bag full of penny items at this store so I was real happy about that so I went to another store didn't get as much but I did find some stuff now this is this is a little um, tongs that you pick up stuff with but it's small one and it goes with these now this is a small size and Robert and I always make stuff that just for him and I like french fries or other things that you can just pick up Brussels sprouts whatever you want to pick up but I've been wanting one of these and uh, I prefer the small ones. And so this was 50 cents. So they're 50% off right now. And I wanted one. And, and they're kind of few and far between. So I knew I'm not going to find one when it penny. So I went ahead and got both of these. So if you're only cooking for one or two. Things like that really goes. Now this was in the ribbon aisle. Where they keep the... Oh, the wrapping paper, the gift bags, the uh, gift cards and stuff. They got that bottom shelf with the little wire baskets, and they got a ribbon in them. Now, this ribbon had orange indicating fall, and so I scanned it, and it is a F21. So, you know... So you're all over the store. Um, you got ribbons in the in the card aisle. You got uh, these in the kitchen supplies. Um, you got um, the red dots in the toy aisle. You got uh, stuff in the clearance aisle. So um, yeah, when I go, I, I basically go up and down every aisle because people misplace stuff. And you'll see that I paid fifty two cents. Um, because that little silicon tong was 50 cents. So that's real special. So I'm excited about having that. Now, <coughs> this, I love this. Now this, I've seen this, and it's been a while since I've seen it, but this is a summer of 20. And this was in the clearance aisle, just stuck in the corner, upside down by itself. Look at that. It's a little doggy wrapped in angel wings. Isn't that cute? Now, when they were new, they had a bunch of these because I remember seeing them. And it says summer of 20 right there. You can see. So it's been a penny a while. Isn't that little cute? It's a little knick-knack, but I think it's so cute. But, anyway, uh, let's see. I got one more sack. Let's see what we found at this store. Now, this was in that same aisle. It was in the basket laying where the ribbon and stuff is. Just laying there underneath some stuff. And I dug it up, and when I looked at it, it said it's a summer of 21, and it's a green dot. Aren't they cute? 
Now, the lady that checked me out, she said that they've got napkins and pot holders that match these that she just put on the shelf. So, this would make a cute gift if you had a pot holder and cup towel that matched it, right? So, yeah, so the green dots are still out there. And if I hadn't have been going up and down the card aisle where the gift wrapping paper is and, and this ribbon is i wouldn't have found this so you never know where you're gonna find them pennies and then this <laughs> i finally found a napkin it's a harvest napkin it says gather i couldn't believe it but this was in the aisle where they keep the um paper plates and the napkins that match it was just laying up there with the other paper napkins and stuff. And no, it didn't match anything. And it kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. So when I saw it, I was like, well, I know that's a penny. So I grabbed it and put it in my basket. I didn't even scan it. So at this store, I got the... Oh, the salt and pepper shakers and the napkins. So I walked out of there with two things, uh, $3.50 worth of items that I got for two cents. So, you know, I live on a fixed income, very fixed income, and all of this penny stuff helps me because I have a yard sale that supplements my income. So, it's always happy when I get penny items that I can put in my yard sale. So, I can't wait till we get another penny list um, that's not the seasonal stuff. And we get back to the regular penny list that, uh, like food and stuff. I like that. I love getting penny food. Because you can't beat penny food. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got. Uh, I hope y'all found some uh, of the harvest and some of the loose pennies that are in the store so um y'all put down in the comments below what y'all find and then go don't forget to follow me on facebook on pennies 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 and y'all can post your pictures of your pennies on there so we love those pennies so i'll meet y'all over there on facebook on the pennies 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 group and um Y'all show me your pennies. So I love y'all. And howdyos from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Because we're going to get another penny list probably next year on the 2nd. So, I don't know what it'll be. But I know eventually that tomato soup's going to penny. Because it's been on that clearance rack for a while now. I don't know how to predict when it's going to penny, but if y'all got any hints, y'all let me know. So, adios now.